In Golden Gate, Moran masterfully created a work of art inspired by an actual physical site in Yellowstone, but one transformed by his brush. During his second trip to Yellowstone in 1892, Moran carefully studied the geologic features. He then returned to his studio to create a perfected composition that combined several views of the pillar, rock walls, and waterfall into one idealized landscape. Golden Gate is approximately four miles south of Mammoth Hot Springs in Yellowstone National Park. The site's name refers to the color of the canyon walls caused by lichen, and it was probably named by Army officers who constructed the road. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built the road in 1884. The 220-foot wooden trestle, a major engineering feat, made travel in Yellowstone easier. By portraying the roadway in his painting, Moran celebrated not only the glories of nature, but also the accomplishments of human ingenuity. Artist Thomas Moran became identified prominently with Yellowstone National Park. Moran was born in Bolton, England, 1837, and came to the United States as a boy of seven with his family. At 16, he went to work as a wood engraver in Philadelphia and then began painting Pennsylvania landscapes. In 1862, he and his brother Edward traveled to England to study paintings of artists they admired and to sketch the European landscape. In 1871, he joined Ferdinand Hayden's U.S. Geological Survey Expedition to the Yellowstone region. On the expedition, he worked closely with photographer William Henry Jackson. Moran's watercolors and Jackson's photographs helped to convince Congress to set aside the land of Yellowstone as the first national park. In subsequent years, Moran traveled to the West to portray in watercolors and oil paintings the Grand Canyon of the Colorado, Indian Pueblos, mountain ranges, and other unique sites. Moran died in 1926.